Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, welcome back, Utah. Gorgeous conditions across the state over much of the weekend, although we had some showers and storms. Uh, this was, I believe, Saturday evening. Mark Hems were sending in this photo from the weekend. Gorgeous conditions in Cedar City. Brandon Bates at the Bountiful Ponds. Yeah, we had a nice sunset yesterday for Sunday. Uh, just calm conditions. It was the hot temperatures, though, that we were dealing with. Record high temperatures in Salt Lake City, but also up at Alta. Alta had a record high of 78 degrees. That tied their previous record. Still have snow, of course, melting off at the highest elevations, but you can definitely beat some of the hottest conditions when we're talking about record highs in the upper 70s. That sounds pretty comfortable compared to 101 degrees at the airport on Sunday. Previous record from 2012. So yeah, we tied that. We've got near record heat again in store today, and we haven't seen a whole lot of relief from those record highs yesterday. We've now dropped, though, into the upper 70s versus low 80s. We were kind of hanging on to those. In fact, here at the studio, you can see the weather temperature at the bottom of the screen still 81 here. Uh, in West Salt Lake, but the airport 77, 75 in Provo, Delta 73. Good morning. We've got 60s across the eastern half of the state, 62 in Blanding. Good morning to you and still 81 in St. George. Notice how quickly temperatures climb. Get moving forecast for the Wasatch Front. 70s as you head out to the, already the low 80s again at 9 o'clock. So once the sun comes up, we've had our sunrise technically already, but as it comes up over the Wasatch Mountains, we're going to see or feel that heat. 91 degrees at noon with mostly clear conditions. Black Desert sky camera showing the calm start in Ivan's this morning. Love to see the red rock next to the blue skies and of course the green grasses at the resort. High temperature trend over the next couple of days for the Wasatch Front. So we had record highs yesterday. We're near triple digit heat today. Tomorrow expecting to hit 100 again before temperatures start to relax a little bit by the end of the week. Moisture potential still hanging on. So this is what we were dealing with. Showers and thunderstorms into the weekend. Over the weekend we had moisture hang on across central and southern Utah. Similar conditions expected to continue today as moisture is rotating around the ridge that's in place. So we've had a few lightning strikes still pop up even this morning. Uh, a lot of that's moisture is tapered off. We had a shower and thunderstorm move over the Uintas in towards uh, areas of southwest Wyoming. Looks like that's kind of tapered off and fizzled out. Moisture will remain in place though, so we'll have some clouds across eastern Utah throughout. This is 11 o'clock this morning. Some pop-up showers and storms are expected across much of southern Utah. Uh, we do have that risk for flash flooding across some of our recreation, uh, recreation areas in southern Utah. This is 11 o'clock this evening with the focus being around a lot of those uh, the south central part of the state. So uh, the reef, the swell, Glen Canyon, those areas expected uh, probable flash flood conditions today and likely continuing tomorrow. Tuesday, not much change as far as moisture content goes in southern Utah and we'll start to see some wraparound moisture into the northern half of the state into Wednesday. Models showing some overnight showers. This is about four o'clock on Wednesday with lingering potential into the afternoon. So areas to avoid the areas you see shaded in orange, the reef, natural bridges, Glen Canyon, Grand Staircase and Escalante have probable flash flood potential for today. Be sure to check the latest forecast before you head out and always avoid those low lying areas, especially when we've got a probable risk for flash flooding today. 106 for St. George, 105 on Tuesday, isolated storms Wednesday, temperatures. Yep, we're staying in the triple digit territory. Not much change day to day with those highs. Overnight lows near 80. Windy on Thursday, partly cloudy, but just uh, windy and sunny and hot on Friday. 106, 107 this weekend. The Wasatch Front, uh, 99 today. Records 102, so three degrees shy of the record uh, high temperature from 1988. 102 on Tuesday. Triple digit heat's expected to continue tomorrow. 96 on Wednesday. We drop to 92 with isolated storms Thursday. Behind a front will be in the mid-80s. That's average high temperature. So we get one day of average heat, and then we bounce right back to those mid to upper 90s Saturday and Sunday.